Eddie Atlas, and welcome to the famed Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey, where so many great fights have gone on through the years for a much-anticipated main event. You got this one. You know what Round one of 12. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Committing to the body work now. He lands the right hand. Marvelous is rocked by that punch. He got rocked. He just got rocked, and he's still taking punches. The only way right now is to grab on a little bit, stop this flow. And he just holds on there. Just an excessive amount of holding oh, here. Just me much me. too much punching. Trying to cage him in that corner right there. Defensively, I'm assuming the taller fighter in this matchup tonight really has to be conscious of protecting his body, Teddy. You know, Joe, that's a great point. We think about the taller guy only being vulnerable to the chin if the shorter man gets in, but if you're tall, there's a lot of long and usually lean body to attack. That's a good block by Marvelous. Stay away from those, come on! His opponent wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. Leveling uppercut by the Brown Bomber. Lewis is just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Fine looking right hand by Marvelous. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Protecting his head well with his guard. Rushing uppercut by Lewis. So the end of the round. And now a chance to put the pieces back together. He got stunned in that last round. Yeah, well, he has to get those birds out of his head right now. You know, open that cage up and let him fly out there. And the best way to do that is find out why he got stunned. What did he get hit with? The Brown Bombers swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Lewis is left working well that time. Marvelous is buying himself some time. He was stunned earlier, now another clinch. And he's diffusing himself right now by doing that clinching. And his opponent is taking advantage. Halfway through this round here. That uppercut absolutely rocked him. Boy, I don't like the way his legs look at all right now. Lewis has done a good job there, offensively scoring with that left hand. Able to land the hook to the head. Good work defensively by Lewis. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. Lewis is impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Now hugging on the inside. <laughs> Last 10 seconds. Nice. Now here's a perfect example of where you can actually see confidence growing in a fight. He was able to stun his man in that last round, and you just get a sense that he's a bigger, better fighter than he was before. Well, I agree with you, Joe. You, it's the accumulation of damage that's starting to get to him right now. Now he ties up there. Focus! The Brown Bomber's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. Oh, you got this one. 
Marvelous, his defense is paying off now. Well, you can tell he's being patient, waiting for a countering opportunity. Teddy, what does he have to think about laying that trap? Well, all he has to do is think a little bit like I do a tax season with my accountant. <laughs> I don't want to go into that office. You know, my accountant's standing at the door. He's waiting for me to come in there. I don't want, I want a rebate. And that's what he wants. He wants a rebate. He wants a counter. He's stepping back and he's waiting for the guy nice. to come to him. Nice. So he's the one who gets his way. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. A sharp jab by Lewis. into the belt line with a hook. Marvelous is really in position to control things in this fight if he can do what he did just there, and that's land a good, solid jab. Last 10 seconds of round number three. Good block by Marvelous. And the round comes to an end. Losing this fight. I need you to take some chances now. You have to take a chance with this guy, right? You got that? You have to take a risk. Listen, the best defense is to throw punch. Breathe in. Take a deep breath. Great job, that round. You're doing well. Lewis is off to a really good start tonight. This is the first time we look at Teddy's scorecard, and you can see that he has it a clean sweep through three rounds. Nice block by Marvelous. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot, and then comes back with an uppercut. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. Ninety seconds to go in round number four. Good block by Marvelous. <laughs> Able to get rid of that one. Hate yourself. Oh. You see him holding on. The Brown Bombers showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Lewis's defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Ten seconds to go in this round. Good right hand. You can almost see it just by the way a fighter sits down on their stool at the end of the round. As we come to the end of this round, you can tell that he's full of confidence and he can't wait to get right back out there and continue doing what he's doing. Well, you're right. The first thing that I notice is his back's not leaning against the corner pad. You know, that's a defeated fighter. That's a fighter. He don't want to go back. Something bad happened to him. You know, he's leaning back like that. You have to pick him up from the stool. He's got all his weight forward. He can't wait to get going. You know that he's positive, right, you know that he had a good round. You need to cover up more, okay? You're leaving yourself open. I got more. Here we are at the start of another round. 
around that could simply add on to a new direction and a new course that this fight has taken. I really liked what he was able to do in that last round. Now, he's behind on the scorecards, but you get the sense that the momentum is starting to roll his way. Well, you get the sense that it's starting to become his kind of fight now. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. See him trying to cut down that tree with a well-placed right hand. Work the body, kid. Body shots. Halfway into round number five here. Uppercut. Threw the straight right hand, but didn't score with it. Relax, relax. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Flush right hand to the body. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. Accurate shot, straight right hand comes in. End of the round. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas with you ringside. He just didn't throw enough, Teddy. I mean, you got to go out there and put something forth if you want to win the round. Hey, sometimes it's complicated. Sometimes it's pretty simple. You don't throw punches, you don't win fights. So, time. He's got nothing left, okay? Just go for the head. Knock him out. The start of the sixth round. Lewis has got a little hop in his step as he's ready to start this round. Nailed by a hook. Come on. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. The Brown Bombers really doing a fine job here, Teddy. And I know everybody falls in love with the clean, effective punching, but you can make an argument that he's controlling this fight right now thanks to his head movement. Yeah, you know, it makes me think about that legendary story about the old great Willie Pep, the Will of the Wisp. There was a legend that he actually won a round without throwing a punch just by making his opponent miss, just by ring generalship. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Lewis. Right to the body. Marvelous is scoring with that right hand. Keep moving, keep moving. Gotta see that one come. Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. Here's a moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe. What he does is he forces him into a position to stop the punch. And then when he stops, steps back, makes a miss, and comes right back.
Too much. Right, you gotta let your hands go. You have to. You have to be busy. This this guy is beating the shit out of you. You have to throw three or four punches in a row. You can turn this around, but you gotta let it go. All right, listen. Here we go. Action to start the seventh round. The Brown Bomber's gonna just try to keep doing exactly what he did the entire first half of this fight. He put forth a game plan he noticed early on in training camp, and it's worked to perfection. Good defensive skill with the block by Lewis. The Brown Bombers making this like artwork here. I mean, his defense is just a masterpiece. Well, that's the way it's supposed to be, actually, you know, the, the sweet science. It's not supposed to be about going in there and eating punches. It's supposed to be about going in there avoiding punches, you know, finding a way to hit your opponent without him hitting you. He understands that. And coming upon the halfway mark of this. Lewis is hurt from that. Solid. He is floored by a big uppercut. One, two, three, four, five. Lewis is showing you what he is made of. Getting up off the canvas after being knocked down. He got all into that one. That was a solid uppercut. Goes up top with a right hand. Good biting, snapping shot by Marvelous. Looking right hand after he got hit. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Go, go. Breathe. Breathe. We thought this fight would be heading in an obvious direction after watching the first few rounds. But here we are in round number eight. And Teddy, your scorecard shows this to be closer than expected. Marvelous has done a fine job of getting himself back into this. Yeah, he came out of the gate a little slow, but he's been picking up momentum ever since. Come on, kid, focus. Blocks the headshot. Lewis is basically doing exactly what we've always seen out of him, and that's after he's been knocked down and affected in this fight. Yeah, you know, there comes a time you have to make adjustments. That time has come for him. Doing great. Well, he goes to the gut with a right hand. Marvelous has got to be moving more than this, Teddy. I mean, you cannot win a fight just standing stationary like this. Well, you know, if his opponent could have, he would have gotten him to sign a contract and say, hey, I want you to stand right in front of me all night long so I can do whatever I want. And he's doing whatever he wants. And a power shot lands, and all of a sudden it turns the tables. A little slow with that jab, and he got caught the right hand. Marvelous is work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? Good shot to the head with that right hand. Last 10 seconds of the eighth round. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. And round eight comes to an end. Lewis has got to come up with something here because his eye just closed. Yeah, well, what he has to do is his opponent knows what he has to do. His opponent has to throw punches from that side. What he has to do is take that side away from him, position himself in a ring where those punches are not available to his opponent. Okay, breathe now. 
Deep breath, deep breath. Holy shit, you are in control of this fight, man. Don't get careless out there, right? Just, just keep boxing smart. Looking good, looking good. Keep your hand. The Brown Bombers back. Look at him here in the start of this round. Remember, he got tagged hard in that last round. Well, that's the reward you get when you have a good camp and you get yourself in top shape. Nice! And now he scores well with a straight right. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. <laughs> Halfway through the ninth round. Lewis is doing exactly what he told us he would do. Now, he was stunned earlier in this fight, but he's sticking to that game plan. You know, I like that. You know, I want to see how a guy behaves under pressure. He hasn't panicked, you know. Still believes in his identity, believes in his talents, his abilities, and he's going to stay that way unless the guy convinces him later on. Right to the head with that right. Lewis's knowledge of the game Keep is pushing. showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is to block. He did it there well. And that's the end of round nine. The Brown Bombers corner has quite a task in front of them now. Their fighter's eye swollen shut. Right now, you have to come up with some strategy. Maybe he turns his stance around where he leads now with the good eye. You know, right now, the good eye is back a little bit where he can't pick up things. Maybe now he needs to change his position in the ring where at least his good eye is in front. And he ties up on the inside. Lewis is throwing wide punches. If I'm standing opposite of that, I jump on it. Yeah, well, if you're the fighter, that's where you have to be kind of like into a Kodak moment where you take a picture and you say, okay, I remember that, and the next time, bang, I'm going to take it advantage. taking too many punches. Hands up. <laughs> Forceful jab by Lewis. And we've reached the halfway point of round 10. Nice work, nice work. See, that's what you want from his left hand. That's exactly what it should be doing, that left hand by Marvelous. Marvelous's nice. punch is far off the target. Get him, get him. A stinging uppercut by Lewis. Side to Pounding side. down towards the end of the 10th round. 10 seconds to go. And that's the end of round 10. Nice work, listen. Start of round number 11. The Brown Bombers' comeback continues. He has closed the gap on your scorecard, Teddy. Well, somebody must have told him that somebody was stealing something from him, namely his opponent, taking away his future, because he's acting like an angry man, like a determined man, a man that wants to win now. Marvelous is in bad shape. Lewis is mounting a comeback here, Teddy. Things were going against him. 
Now the tide has turned. Good things come to those who wait or those who persevere. He persevered, good things are happening. Right hand comes into play by Lewis. Keep he clinches the when he gets to the Good. inside. 90 seconds to go in this 11th round. Oh, hands up, hands up. And he clinches yet again. His right hand scores well that time. And now a well-placed hook to the head. The left hand coming into play by Marvelous. End of the round, around, end of the round, around, I do believe that he was able to take. But his opponent is there stride for stride. This is going to be a close fight. Teddy, where do you have him on the scorecards? Is he up? Yeah, I have him slightly ahead. But as you said, very close fight. And the kind of fight where you let up for a moment, you're going to lose it. They have given a lot tonight. Now one more opportunity to give a little more. The final round is upon us. Good way to protect the midsection. Marvelous is in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. Watch that! Halfway through this 12th and final round. Marvelous is banged by an uppercut. A quick, devastating hook by the Brown Bomber. Just a minute to go in this bout. Marvelous, his right hand, did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Very, very close fight. But the envelope, please, will bring all the drama. Which way will the judges see this? This is where they earn their money to be able to pick the right guy for tonight. Marvelous is your winner by unanimous decision tonight. I'm not so sure it was unanimous. I had it a little bit close. I had a split decision, but had the same man win it. All three judges in agreement here ringside. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great evening.